Hello. Hello, Steven. Hello. How are you today? I'm fine. Yeah. I am fine. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Well, welcome to another opportunity of learning. It is a big pleasure to have you in class. How is everything going? ¿Qué tal el fin de semana? Trabajando. Oh, really? Did you work? Oh, my God. Do you work on Saturday and Sunday or only on Saturday? Saturday. Only on Saturday, okay. That's important. At least you have the chance to rest on, on Saturday, on Sunday. Okay. I work on Saturday and on Sunday. Like a lot. Hello, Christian. Welcome. Hello, sir. Thank you. How are you? How was your weekend? Al su fin de semana. Eh, pues, gracias a Dios, bien. Okay, that's pretty good. It is good to know. It is good to know that it was good. Okay, so we are going to work a little bit on. Let me see. We are going to work on simple present today. Today is going to be a simple present day. A very nice opportunity to learn. And for sure to practice, right? Do you have the chance to practice on the weekend? Tienen el chance de practicar entre el fin de semana, más o menos? No. Nothing. <laughs> No mucho. Ok, por el trabajo, dice Steve. Sí. No, yo practico en el trabajo. Oh, really? How? ¿Cómo así? Cuénteme. Eh, tengo esto. Tomo nota de todo aquí. Oh, that's so nice. Sí. Lo puedo tener en el trabajo, así que lo puedo hey. de receso o cuando salgo a comer, siempre leo. Wow, that's so nice. And do you have books in English? ¿Tienes libros en inglés? No has conseguido todavía. No, pero no. tengo otro montón de cosas en inglés. Okay, that's so no. nice. Hey, that's very good. You know, it is uh, on Saturday, I oh no, on Sunday, I sent you a story. I think it was about Romeo and Juliet, right? Se las envié en el chat. ¿Vieron una historia que les envié? Como un cartoon. Sí, la de Julieta. Exacto. Entonces, esas historias así chiquitas que ustedes dicen, ah, pero eso son para niños. Son las mejores que pueden empezar a ocupar para su nivel de inglés. Y entonces, como van ustedes como aprendiendo, ven, y iniciando, todas esas como están enfocadas para niños. Pero acordémonos que los niños de Estados Unidos, pues, son como, pues sí, escuchan inglés y toda la cosa todo el día, todo el tiempo. Es su idioma natal. Entonces, para ellos nosotros seríamos como en el mismo nivel de los niños cuando vamos iniciando. Así que yo siempre les recomiendo, empecemos por esos cuentos, esas historias. Y ahí se agrega un montón de vocabulario, un montón de frases, un montón de grammar y cosas que nos pueden servir. Entonces, empezar a leer cuentitos así de niños, vean. Y empezar a leer así como que Hansel y Gretel, que la caperucita, Blancanieves y todo. In English, works a lot. Right? Le va a servir un montón. Así que no lo, no lo tomen por, por ah, no es muy chiquito. Que, que, como que fuera niño chiquito. Son los que más sirven. Right? En esta etapa. Ajá. Lo que dice que la pronunciación es bien pausada. Ajá. Tenerla. Exacto. Entonces esa es la ventaja, porque como ustedes van iniciando, se les va entrenando el oído. Y como todos están enfocados a que los vean los niños, y los niños así como, ok, ahora venía Blanca Nieves, no sé qué, y apareció tal cosa. So you can start getting the pronunciation, right? Entonces ahí empiezan ustedes a agarrar la pronunciación, las palabras y todo. 
y es muy útil. Así que ahí les dejo el tip. La página está muy bonita, hay muchas más historias, además de, de Romeo y Julieta. Así que ahí les comparto el detalle, el detalle de la historia. So, let's move on business. Let's start. Today we are going to practice a little bit of simple present, the rules, and how to transform uh, the third person singular into sentences. Okay, we are going to work on that today. Let me just get my USB. I did not have it. Disaster. <laughs> Sorry. So, let's start. On the last class, we were studying the different verbs, right? We were studying the different verbs and we were practicing the different pronunciation of the verbs and the different use of the verbs, right? So today we are going to continue working with the verbs and we're going to continue developing sentences. We're going to continue working on that part, okay? Did you have the chance to investigate a little bit of the rules? ¿Se fueron a investigar un poquito de las reglas de la tercera persona? No. Ok, si no tuvieron chance de hacerlo, pues lo vamos a hacer ahora. Well, we are going to start today with a little practice, right? I need you, I need you to have your notebook. ¿Tienen su cuaderno a la mano? Yes. Ok, your notebook and a pen. That's everything that you need. Necesitan su cuaderno y un lápiz, un lapicero. Okay, we are going to work on the 10. That's the, that's the name of the game, the 10. And you are going to write 10 words with the letter that I am going to show you, okay? Le voy a mostrar una letra en cámara, sí. Le voy a mostrar una letra en cámara. And you are going to write 10 words with the card, okay? With the letter on the card. You are going to write 10 words with the letter okay for example if i show you the letter e give me 10 words okay with the letter e ahora ahorita díganme las pero en el juego la van a escribir okay 10 words with the letter e cuáles fueron 10 palabras con la letra e vamos a ver elephant elephant ecology ecology Uh -huh. Europe. Europe, okay, Europe. Three. Uh -huh. Llevamos tres apenas y son diez. Vamos. Economic. Economic, okay. A. A, 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 I, I, right? I, another one. Exercise. Exercise, very good. Another one. Llevamos seis. Vamos. With elemental. The letter. elemental, okay, elemental. Ecology. Ecology, ya la dijeron. <laughs> Another one. Siete, vamos, son diez, nos faltan tres. Vámonos con Ay. las cosas. Ay, ya la dijeron, ya la dijeron, ya no cuenta. Otra, 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 otra. Vámonos con las cosas básicas que conocemos. Ear. Ear, okay. Ear, llevamos ocho, nueve. In English. Eagle. English, right, English, nine. La última. Email. Email, very good. So you have ten. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Parece fácil, pero no es tan fácil. Ten words, okay. La vamos a escribir. Diez palabras. El primero que las termine me dice stop. Porque ya las tiene. ¿Ok? Cuando el primero diga stop, ya nadie puede seguir escribiendo. ¿Ok? La idea es que escriban diez. ¿Ok? El primero que escriba diez va a detener el grupo. ¿Ok? Ready? With the next one. Vaya, chicos. Buso. Ahí va la primera letra. Van a escribir diez. ¿Ok? Diez palabras con la siguiente letra. Ready? Set. Cerrar la puerta que se sale la letra. Ready. Next. Go. Escríbalas, escríbalas. No las diga. Escríbalas. Cuando tenga 10, me dice stop. Ready. 
Y el que diga stop lo va a leer, pues, obviamente. Vamos, 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 vamos. I have many letters, don't worry. José, hola, ¿cómo está? Estamos escribiendo palabras con la letra S. Diez palabras con el S. Hola, mucho gusto. Hello. Eh... Diez palabras con Diez la letra S. Yes. Diez palabras. Cualquier cosa. Diez palabras. Solo nombres propios no. Diez palabras. Y el que tenga la tía dice, ¡Stop! No se vale googlear nada, ¿ok? No hagan tanto. Ten letters. Ten words with the letter S. Only thing, no more thing, only thing. Okay, stop, stop. Okay, hands up, hands up. No more writing, no more writing. Nadie más, escriba ya. Tatiana, give me the 10 words that you have. Okay. Si usted la tiene, Spanish. Uh -huh. Spanish. Spanish, song. Uh-huh. Sister. Uh-huh. Single. Single. System. System. Saturday. 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 Son Sunday. Sunday. Good. A star. Star. A student. Student. Good. Surprise. Surprise. Good. Very good. Tenían alguna repetida ahí, alguno de ustedes? Sí, no. Ok, la idea es que si no la tienen, la agreguen, vea. Y si la retienen repetida, solo la tacha. La ganadora de esta ronda fue Tatiana. Vamos a ver quién gana la siguiente ronda. With the next letter. Ready. The next one is the letter P. Go ahead. Ten. ¿Quién gana la ronda? ¿Quién gana la ronda? Veamos. Letter P. Estamos escribiendo palabras con la letra P. Ten. Diez palabras. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Ten words with the letter P. Ten words with the letter P. Only ten. Only ten. Pida la ayuda a la familia. Al vecino. A quien sea. Cuando termine, dear stop. 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 Hands up. No more writing. No more. A ver, lápices arriba, muestran el lápiz, muestran el lápiz, don't be tramposos. Joana es la ganadora de la ronda 2. Joana, give me the 10 words with the letter P. Ok. Eh, paper. Paper, ajá. Uh -huh. eh, pu. Pu. Uh -huh. Photograph. Photograph, ajá. Uh -huh. Pizza. Pizza. Paper. Paper. 
Power. Power, ajá. Uh -huh. Power. Price. Price. Peace. Peace. Pink. Price. Pink. Pink. Price. Eh, eh, people. People. And peace. Peace. Peace and love. Okay, very good job. Very good job, Joanna. Very good job. The winner of the second round was Joanna. Tatiana, one point. Joanna, one point. The next one. It's an easy one, okay? La siguiente fácil. Let's go. Ready? Yes, teacher. No, teacher. Ready? A. Letter A. Letter A. Go ahead. Letter A. Letter A. Who's going to be the winner for letter A? Remember, when you have your words, you can say stop. And stop the chair. No more writing. Stop, 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 stop. Catering. Catherine, stop the bus this day. Stop. Your 10 words with the letter A. Go ahead. Actor. Uh -huh. Actor. Air. Air. Uh -huh. Afternoon. Afternoon. Always. Always. Almost. Almost. Also. Also. After. After. <laughs> All the Apple. prepositions. <laughs> Apple. Apple. And. And. Another. Another, okay. Uh -huh. Very intelligent. You use all the prepositions. That's so good, right? Always after, also. <laughs> that was so good. Smart, very smart. Point for Catherine. Hey, boys, what's going on? What's going on, boys? The next one. The next word. The next letter is going to be the letter. Chan, chan, chan. R. Ten words with R. Ch -ch -ch letter R. Ten. Teacher, yes. Este, fíjese que Fanny se me pone a veces cortado no y a veces no me sale. Ah. Por lo menos ahorita no sé qué dijo porque es como que cortado. O sea, ok, estamos escribiendo está palabras. La señal, no sé, me está fallando. Ok, comprendo. Estamos escribiendo palabras con la letra que les muestro. Ahorita les mostré la letra R. Diez ah. palabras con R. Y el que las tenga. Me dice, stop. Vamos.
stop. Stop the morating. Stop, stop, and stop. Leticia, hey, the lady, the ladies are with everything today. My God. Hoy las chicas andan con todo, bicho. ¿Qué pasó? Pobre José Antonio, así terminando nada. Stop, Leticia, ok. Stop, stop. Leti, 10 words with R. Red. Red. Ready. Ready. Rain. Rain. Um, ruler, no sé cómo se dice. Ruler, ruler, good, ruler. Ruler. Rice. Rice, good. Rose. Rose. Rising. Rising, okay, very good. Rising. Rich. Rich. Royal. Royal, good. And. Uh, Rustic, rustic, okay. rustic, rustic. Very good job. Ten words. Very nice. The last one. Eh, 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 boys. Pongamos las pilas, pichón. Aunque sea la última y veamos. Va. Puso pues, okay. The last one. The last one. Boys. Eh, eh. Chicas, cierren los ojos para darle ventaja a los chicos. <laughs> the last one is the letter C. Go ahead. The letter C. Chicas, escriban despacito en letra de carta. Go ahead, letter C. Letter C. Stop. Stop. Yes, the boys did it. Stop, 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 stop. Ya las chicas estaban esperando que un chico terminara. Va bien, buena onda usted. Stop. Very nice, Antonio. Go ahead. Gracias, chica. Gracias, chica. Come. Cook. Cook. Coffee. Coffee. Case. 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 Uh -huh. Case. Good. Uh, cook. Cook. Course. Course. Uh -huh. uh, cat. Cat. Yes. Eh, confort. Confort. Y class. Class. Very good job. I told you, uh, nice work. Hey, you did a very good job with all the letters of the night, right? That was very good. Very good job. So, en la última le vamos a ganar. Ajá, en la última, <laughs> sí, por el honor, por el orgullo. <laughs> For your orgullito. You see, that was very nice. Excellent job. Excellent job, my dear students. As you can see, it's something simple that you can use to practice vocabulary. Las cosas simples les pueden ayudar a practicar vocabulary. Y usted dice, ah, palabras con las letras. Ajá, y cuando estamos con la letra, todas las palabras se nos olvidan. Y después cuando las lee su compañero, dice usted, cat, cow, case, 
right? And all the words start coming, right? Cuando se acaba el, 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 la competencia, se acuerda de todas las palabras. Y usted, ah, computer, color, colorful, um, right? So uh -huh. you, 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 it, everything comes to your mind, right? Carrot, cabbage, and then you start thinking, but that's good. A very simple practice can help you a lot when you are learning English. So take that one, take that example. And as Steven was mentioning, that he does things in his free time, right? Steven nos decía que él hace practica en el tiempo libre. Esta es una buena práctica. Si ya se acabó el almuerzo, está esperando que le baje la comida. Empiece a escribir palabras con cualquier letra. Piense una letra y escriba 10. Piense otra letra y escriba otra 10. Y así se va retando usted a crear más vocabulario. ¿Ok? Es la única manera. Así que, good job. Very good practice. So, let's move on business today. And we are going to work, right? We are going to work a little bit of what we were doing in the previous class, right? We were working on the different exercises, the different um, sentences on how to express the daily routines, right? And the things that you do every single day, right? Something important that we need to remember when we are talking about daily activities, it's how to tell the time. It is very useful to know how to tell the time. And I am going to show you right now a very basic form to do it. Because if you want to, for example, express your ideas on how to express the time, you need to know the, the clock, right? Tenemos que conocer el reloj y tenemos que, pues sí, saber cómo leerlo. I have a couple of examples right here. Se lo voy a mostrar, le voy a mostrar dos ejemplos. Okay, let me just, give me just a second here. Okay, so here we go. In order to start talking about the daily routines, we need to discover how to tell the time Right, in order to tell the time, we have a very short example right here, okay? For this part of the clock, right? Many of you don't use this type of watch anymore, right? Ya no ocupan este tipo de relojes, pero uno que otro todavía sí. So, when you are talking about the time, you have past and two, okay? You have the two forms. These side of the clock is past this is past and this is two okay este es pasan de y este es para so you say it's five past it's five past one it's ten past one it's fifteen past one it's twenty past it's twenty five past it's half past and when you say two, it's like falta para. It's 25 to one, 20 to one, a quarter to one, 10 to one or five to one. In this case, it's two, two, okay? So when the time is on this side, cuando el tiempo va para este lado, son cinco pasan de, por ejemplo. So you say, it's five past two. Si fueran Las dos y cinco tendría que estar aquí el reloj, okay? Five past two. It's five past two. It's ten past two. It's a quarter past, right? Las dos y cuarto. It's a quarter past. It's twenty past, right? Veinte pasan de las dos. Okay? It's twenty-five past. And it's half past. Okay, or you can say it's 2.30. In simple words, you can say two o'clock, right? The dos en punto. You can say 2.05. 2.05 will be las dos y cinco. Esta sería la forma sencilla, la más sencilla de decirlo. 2.05. Okay, 2.05. Las dos y cinco. In this one, you will say, if it's right here, so you say, it's 2.10. 
It's 215, 220, 225, 230. Okay, that's a simple form to say it, right? Si ustedes lo quieren decir de la manera más sencilla, you say 205, 210, 215, 220, 225, 230. And then 235, 40, 45, 50, 55. That's the way you can tell the time in an easy way. Or if you want to use the English form, so you say it's five past two, it's 10 past two, it's 15 or it's a quarter past two. Okay, that is one of the forms to tell the time. What time is it right now, people? Si les pregunto ahorita, what time is it right now? What time is it right now? Seven. It's seven? 7.31, okay, 7.31. What time is it in your house? In my house, it's 7.34. En mi reloj, una 7.34. Yeah. What time is it in your house? In my house, 7.33. 7.33, okay, 7.33. And that's the way you can read it, right? That's the easy form. Say, what time is it? 740, 742, 745. Okay, that's the easy form. Si no se van a complicar, yo los invito a que no se compliquen a leer el tiempo. What time is it? 230, 235, 120. Okay, easy way to say it. But this is the educational way. Okay, esta es la forma educativa de cómo leer el reloj. And you have a lot of examples. ¿Cuál es el primer ejemplo que tenemos aquí en el listado? Las dos en punto. ¿Cómo lo leemos? It's two o'clock, right? It's two o'clock. What about the next one? What is the next example? It's five, eight, two. Okay, so on the next example you have? It's, let me open it right here. It's five past two. Right, cinco pasan de las dos. What about the next one? Alma Dalila, what is the next example? It's 10 past two, right? It's 10 past two. The next one, 10 past two. Uh, let me see. The next example, 2.15. ¿Cómo lo leemos? It's, it's a quarter. A quarter. A quarter. Quarter. Okay. This is, a, this is a good moment for an example. A quarter past two. ¿Saben por qué la cora se llama cora? La cora, la moneda. ¿Saben por qué la cora se llama cora? No. Por esto. Porque el nombre real es water. 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 It's a quarter of dollar, right? Pero mucha gente no puede quarter, decir quarter. quarter. Y entonces alguien en el mundo dijo, ah, Cora. And it's Cora. Y Cora le quedó. Pero se llama quarter. It's a quarter. Okay. ¿Y qué andamos diciendo por el mundo? Préstame una Cora. And it's not a Cora, right? It's a quarter. A quarter. quarter. Because it's a quarter of dollar. Es un cuarto de dólar. Okay, it's a quarter of dollar. Entonces, de ahora en adelante, ustedes no digan Cora, aunque no les entienda la gente, pero ahí le da usted la, el tip cultural. Se dice quarter. It's a quarter, quarter of dollar. Quarter. Wow. Y ahí quarter. le da la cora. Okay, es como el color fuchsia. ¿Cómo le llaman ustedes? Al rosado Fuxia. intenso, a este rosado intenso. Fuxia. Fuxia. El fux, and the color's name is fuchsia. 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 Alguien en el mundo no podía decir fuchsia y dijo fuchsia. Y le quedó fuchsia. Y ahí andamos todos por el mundo diciendo fuchsia. And the color's name is fuchsia, right? Yo ahí en el depósito de telas. No, es que es fuchsia. Fuchsia, no tengo fuchsia. Y estaba viendo la, el rollo, estaba viendo yo, es ese. Ah, el fuchsia. Y yo, 
<laughs> me tocó darle el tip cultural ahí a la señorita. ¿verdad? So it's fuchsia. And this one is quarter. Quarter. It's a quarter. It's quarter past two. It's quarter past two. The next one. It's 20 past two. It's 20 it's past 20. two. Yeah. It's 20 past two. It's 25 it's past two. It's 25 past two. The next one. It's half past two. Half significa la mitad. O sea, 30. La mitad de 60 en este caso. Half. It's half past two. Media, media hora, right? It's half past two. The next one. Can you help me to read it? No, no. No, no, deja, perdón. It's 25. It's 25 to three. Okay, en esta ya vamos para arriba. Ya vamos de regreso. It's 25 to three. Faltan 25 para las tres. It's 25 to three. What about this one? It's 20 to three. It's quarter to three. It's ten to three. It's five to three. It's five to three. Okay. Let's go. It's five to three. So that's a form of this. So it's two o'clock, it's five past two, it's 10 past two, it's a quarter past two, it's 20 past two, it's 25 past two, it's half past two, it's 25 to three, it's 20 to three, it's a quarter to three, it's 10 to three, and it's five to three. So those are the different forms of how to tell the time. In examples that we can have, it's, for example, this, right? The class starts at nine o'clock. The class starts at nine o'clock. The flight leaves at 10 to three. The question, what time is it or what's the time? What time is it or what's the time? Practice the questions with me. What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? What's the time? What's the time? What's the time, teacher? What time is it, teacher? What time is it, teacher? Is it, teacher? Okay. And here, when you say we use it is or it's to answer a question. Right, you can say it is half past two or it's 20 to five. This is not going to change the example. So if you ask me the question, ¿cómo me preguntan? What time is it? What time is it? What Ajá. time is it? What time is it? Okay, no me le den vuelta al verbo aquí, porque es bien común que, que digamos what time it is. No, what time is it? What time is it? And I will say it's 741, okay? That's the time, at least in my computer. Tell me, what time, what time do you start work? What time do you start work? What time do you start work? Okay, at seven, okay. Cuando tengan una pregunta, por ejemplo, como esa, aquí decimos, I start, I start work, okay. Y es que fue la pregunta que les hice. I start work, y aquí usamos at para decir la hora. I start work at seven. If you want to be specific, you say 7 a.m. Okay. I start work at 7 a.m. Or you can say, I start work at 7 o'clock. Oh ¿En qué caso usan o'clock? Solo cuando es la hora en punto. 
no me van a decir 7.25 o'clock a.m. No, right? It's 7.25 a.m. Cuando la hora es en punto, podemos decir o'clock. Okay? It's 7 o'clock, you can say. In the morning, for example. But if, for example, here, if you have it's 7.20, you say only 7.20 a.m. Okay? I start work at 7.20 a.m. Okay? It is not necessary that you tell me o'clock, porque o'clock es solamente para las horas en punto. Okay? What time do you eat lunch? What time do you eat lunch? What time do you eat lunch? I start work at, at 12. No, no, no. What time do you eat lunch? Y ya cambiaríamos el verbo. I eat lunch I eat, at... Eat lunch at 12. At 12, okay? What time, what time do you take a shower? So you say, I take a shower at... Five. At 5 a.m., right? I take a shower at 5 a.m. Okay. What time, what time do you take the bus? Okay, what time do you take the bus? ¿A qué horas agarran el bus? No lo agarran, ¿verdad? Sino que a qué horas se suben al bus. Soltalo, Erika. ¿A qué horas se van? ¿A qué horas se suben al bus? What time do you take the bus? Uh -huh. So you say, I take the bus at... At what time? I take the bus at 6 a.m. At 6 a.m., right? At, at 6 a.m., okay? At 6 a.m. Si ya ponemos 6 a.m., ya no decimos. Oh, 6 a.m., it's sharp. So, <clears throat> what are you going to do? I am going to give you different activities. For example, I am going to give you the activities. In the case, wake up. Okay, uh, go to work. Arrive to work. And finish work. Okay, finish work. So dinner and finish. Okay, finish class. Okay, esas son las actividades que les doy. Se tienen que poner las horas en las que hacen todo. So you say, wake up. Ajá. Le voy a poner uno extra aquí para no quitarles esas. Eh, get dressed. For example. ¿A qué horas me he visto? In this case, the answer will be to use the verb, get dressed. So you say, I get dressed. I get dressed at... 6.10 a.m. Okay. I get dressed at 6.10 a.m. Okay. I get dressed at 6.10 a.m. Okay. Sorry that I missed it right here. Yo me visto a las 6 y Okay. That's what I do. I get dressed at 6.10 a.m. What time do you wake up? I wake up at go to work, I go to work at, arrive to work, I arrive to work at, y ahí la sigue. Okay, write your sentences. Escriban las de ustedes. Go ahead. Ay, my God, what did I do? Okay. Write your sentences. Pío, pío. Pío,
Dale, let me know. Let me know when you finish. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, me. Yeah. No puedo. Voy por ti. Oh, yeah. Dale. Okay, when you have it, let me know, please. Finish? Teacher. Yes. Yeah. I wake up. 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 Yes. I wake up. Teacher. Yep. Uh, uh, arrive. Uh, llegar. Arrive uh -huh. to work. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. A qué hora llego al trabajo? A qué hora llego al trabajo? Okay. Yes, that's the form. I arrived to work. Arrive, that's the form. I arrived. Okay, Christian, do you have your answers? Give me your examples. Finish. Okay, give me your examples. Dame tus ejemplos. Uh, uh, I wake up at 5 a.m. I wake up at? ¿A qué hora te levantas? Uh, 5 a ten. A la diez. No, five, five. Ah, at five. Okay, at five. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Five. I said, wow. I said, what a lucky man. <laughs> <laughs> Qué suertudo. <laughs> no. I go to work at uh, six ten. 
Okay. I, um, I go to work at 6.10. Very good. Uh, I arrive to arrive, work. Uh, arrive. Uh, arrive to work at 7 o'clock. Okay. I arrive to work at 7 o'clock. Very good. Uh, uh, I finish work at 40. At 433 4.33. Six seven. Very good. I finish class a a nine o'clock. I finish class at nine o'clock. Very good job, nine right? Excellent examples, right? Remember four, four, not forty. Four. Uh -huh, four. Okay, yeah. I finish class at four. Good. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, because at forty it's a little bit late, right? At forty, ya nos queda un poquito tarde de la clase. And it's not from God, right? Imagínate que termináramos a las 40 y el día solo tiene 24. The next day. <laughs> so that would be that would be a little bit too much. Okay, good. Very good job. And I am going to choose a Ilse Marlene. Can you give me your examples? En una me he equivocado que la estoy, estoy arreglando ahorita, teacher, porque okay. me confundí en el horario. No worry. Um, I wake up at 5.30 a.m. At 5.30 a.m., good. I go to work at 6.00. 30 a.m. At 6.30 a.m., right, a.m. En esta es donde me he confundido, teacher. A ver, veamos. Porque creo que I go to, I go, I go, perdón. I go to work at six. Eh, se refiere a la hora que salgo para el trabajo. Exactly like that. I go to work. ¿A qué horas me voy para el trabajo? Yes. Uh -huh. um, entonces, la siguiente sería a la hora que, que llego yes. al trabajo. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah, because, for example, in my case, I go to work at 6.50, but I arrive to work 10 to 8. So it's like a lot of time, right? Almost one hour on the on the progress, right? So what time do you arrive to work? Um, si llego a las seis y cincuenta, como sería ahí six? Six, como decimos cincuenta. Lo aprendimos el, el viernes. Fifth. Fifth. Uh, Fifth. 50. Good. 50. 6.50. Okay. I finish work at 4. 33. 33. No sé si yeah, that's good. 33. 4. 33. I cook, I cook dinner. 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 Uh, dinner. 7 o'clock. At 7 o'clock. I cook dinner at 7 o'clock. Okay, and I finish class at nine o'clock. At nine o'clock. Very good job. Very good job. So that's the form. You have to be very careful with the numbers, right? You have to be very careful with the numbers and the time. Alguien que lo quiera hacer voluntario para practicar? Okay, Steven, go ahead. I saw the pencil like appearing just like on the camera en Alma Dalila, okay. Steven en Alma Dalila. Primero Steven y después Almita. Vamos. Wake up. 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 Wake up.
Okay. I arrived to work. Arrive. Oh, right. To work at 7 a.m. 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 I finish work at 4 33. 33. Okay, at 4.33. Uh -huh. At 4.33, half past 5. Okay, <clears throat> en ese caso yo no podría ser half past 5, porque ya te pasas 3 minutos de la media hora. Entonces ahí ya te tenés que quedar 4.33. Porque si fuera half past 5, uh, no, half, no puede decir half to 5, right? 4.30 sería half past four. Ok, oh, pero okay. sí sería las 30 en punto. Pero si ya tienes 33, ni modo, ahí 433. Okay, I cook dinner and at 25 past 10. Ok, 25 past 10. Mm -hmm. Hasta esa hora se la cena. Sí, bien. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Um, 25 past 10 sería las 10.25. A veces más raro. Ok. Un snackcito no. de medianoche. I finish class at 9 o'clock. I finish class at 9 o'clock. Very good job. Thank you, Steven. Very good job. Alma Dalila, vamos. I went off to wake up. Wake up is um. For ten ayan am am acuérdense de abc vea a y la letra m at four at ten to four am okay bien te va I good I I am good to work Ok, ese es un buen ejemplo de lo que no vamos a hacer. I am go to work, no podemos porque tenemos dos verbos juntos. I go to work. Ok, I go to work. Ahí le quitamos el I am. Uh, I go to work. I go to work. Um, 15. 15, what? At 6:15. A las 6 y cuarto. No, no, no. Perdón, lo voy a volver a hacer. <risa> Ay, no me dejen el misterio. Sí, me equivoqué entre, entre los horarios. Eh, Pero está bien ahí I, la idea. La idea es que tenga una hora. Ajá, ok. I went up. I wake up, wake up. Wake up. Is um, 14 a.m. A.m., a.m. I go to go um five. Uh -huh. I really arrive, arrive arrive to work. To go. Um six. A six, good. I finish work um four. Thirty. Three. Three. Four, thirty three. Four, thirty three. Good. I cook dress. Cook dinner. I cook dinner. Cook dinner. Um, six. At six p.m. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. I finish class. Class. Um, nine o'clock. At nine o'clock. Good. And that's it, right? I finish class at nine o'clock. <clears throat> okay, so in this case, we need to be very careful, right? When we create the sentences, we need to be very, very careful on this. And why? Because here, for example, we cannot add, we cannot add a double verb. And in this case, for example, you say, I wake up at uh, four, uh, 4.10 a.m. Okay. I go to work. Y aquí no ponemos otro verbo más. Solo este. I go to work at 5 a.m. Okay. 
and then you finish the sentences. And the only thing that you need to learn how to do, for example, not to confuse the numbers, okay? No nos confundamos con los números. Si lo vamos a hacer de la manera más sencilla, digamos, 5.10, 5.15, okay? 5.30, 5.35, 5.40, So we need to be very careful with the numbers and the pronunciation of the numbers, okay? Si les digo, por ejemplo, esta hora, ¿qué hora es? Six forty seven. Six forty seven. Ay, <laughs> eso no lo van a saber. What about this one? Three thirty five. Three three thirty five. Three thirty five. Eight. Five. Eight. 558 558 12 a.m. right 12 a.m. And okay, that's good, very good. That's what I was looking for. So you say it's 12 midnight. 12 midnight, son las 12 de la medianoche. Or 12 noon. ¿Qué sería noon? Si midnight es medianoche, noon sería? Mediodía. 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 Entonces aquí tendría que ser 12 p.m., right? 12 noon. Or you can also say it's midday. Okay, it's midday. Okay, so in the case of the times, we also have another important thing. Here we have, for example, this one. 7.45 a.m. So you say it is 7.45 Five, 7.45 in the morning, right? In the morning. So if you have, for example, this one, it's 3.25 p.m. ¿Cómo diríamos este? Twenty-five. ¿Qué le agregaríamos? In the afternoon. In the afternoon, ¿ok? Esa es otra palabra que nos cuesta mucho a veces. Decimos afternoon y no es afternoon, es afternoon, ¿ok? It's three twenty-five in the afternoon. But what happens here? No, it's not six. Let's say eight. How will you read that one? It is 8.40. It is 8.40. What time of the day? At night. Okay. Okay. It's 8.40 at night. Okay. It's in la noche. You say in the morning, in the afternoon, at night. So you, you don't say in night. It's not possible, right? Say at night, okay? When is your class? Ah, my class is at night, you say. It's at night, right? It's in la noche. My class is at night, okay? So that is something that we also need to remember, right? It's 7.45 in the morning. It's 3.25 in the afternoon. It's 8.40 at night, okay? So those three things are very important. Before I move to the next one, before I move to the next one, I am going to write three times for you to create them. Okay, le voy a poner tres números para que ustedes lo escriban en letras, okay? So we go with. And. Okay, escríbanlos en letras y manden uno al chat. 
Escríbanlos en letras. Uno, mándenlo al chat. Vamos a ver las habilidades para escribir los números. Manden uno al chat. Here, okay. Send one to the chat. I am reading them. Only one. Manden uno nada más al chat. En la forma escrita, así como los hice yo en los anteriores. It is 4.26 in the morning. Ok, y mientras me los mandan al chat, le voy a pasar lista. Ok, ok. Uh, hey, what happened with my group? Only one to the chat, okay? And I will call the attendance. Le voy a pasar lista para mí. Yes. Okay, very good, Edwin. Si quieres mandar otro, puedes enviar. No problem. Monday 24. Alma Dalila. Presenta, Techo. I Alma. am present. Thank you. Alma Ciomara. Alba Leticia. Present, Techo. Thank you. Antonio José. Present, Techo. Cristian Mauricio. Present, Techo. Edwin Steven. Eduard, Eric Eduardo, Evelyn Janet Sarabia. Presente. Thank you. Heidi Yamile. No, Heidi, nunca conocí a la gente. Janet Tatiana Galeas. Here, teacher. José Heriberto Reyes. José Oscar Flores, Josué David Salvador, Catherine Alejandra Juárez, Catherine Elizabeth Romero, Catherine Lisbeth Solórzano. Present teacher. Thank you. Leticia Magdalena Ortiz. Present teacher. Ilse Marlene. Present teacher. Okay. Luz de Jesús. Present. Melvin Josué. Rosa Margarita. Rosa María Maya. Tampoco las conocía. Las rositas. Joana Mariel. Present. Thank you very much. So, let's go. And I am going to check. I am going to check on on your sentences, okay? I'm going to check on your sentences. Let's see, I have seven. Me han caído siete. <clears throat> Uy, I have more. It's, it is 4.26 in the morning, very good. It is 2.22 in the afternoon, very good. It is, a catering, la mayúscula siempre al principio y el punto al final. It is 2.22 in the afternoon, it is, 9.10 at night. It is 9.10 in the night. Mm, Antonio José, no podemos decir in the night. Decimos at night. Okay? Decimos at night. Uh, let's see. It is 2.22 in the afternoon. Tatiana, very good. 2.22. Okay, Ilse, 20. 20, okay? Because there it says 20. 20, okay? Here. 20, 22, good, the next one. It is 2.22 in the afternoon, it's 9.10 at night, very good. So let's just make that correction there with the two, 
for the rest, they were nice, right? They were nicely written. Good job, kids. The only thing that we are missing is the period at the end. Solo el punto al final les hizo falta, pero de ahí para allá estuvieron bien escritas. Nice job. You did a very, very good job. Nice. So, taking into account, next. You did a very good job. Taking into account this exercise, you can practice with more times, right? To talk. It is 2.22 in the afternoon. Alma Dalila, very good job. 2.22 in the afternoon. Nice job. It is 2.22 in the afternoon. Thank you, Ilse, for correcting your sentence. That was so nice of you. So, before going and talking about the different forms of the third person, we are going to talk about a little bit about the professions and the occupations. Let me share my screen with all of you. Okay, antes de brincarnos a hablar de las terceras personas y de las reglas, vamos a hablar un poquito de las profesiones. Professions and occupations. What names of professions do you know? What names of professions do you know? I have the question right here. What names of professions do you know? Do you know? What names of professions do you know? Uh -huh. What names of professions do you know? Give me examples. What names of professions do you know? Pilot teacher. Pilot teacher, good. Give me more. Pilot engineer. teacher, engineer. Doctor, nurse. Doctor, nurse, good. Teacher. What? Teacher, right, good, teacher. What else? What else? What other professions do you know? Doctor. Doctor, good. Architect, Architect right? Architect. Lawyer. Lawyer. Okay, be careful Secretary. between lawyer and liar, okay? Liar es mentiroso. Lawyer Police. es abogado. Uh -huh. Be careful. Policeman. Policeman, very good. Mechanic. Engineer. Mechanic, engineer, very good. Fire, fire. Firefighter, right? Firefighter. Good. Those are the different professions that we know. I have here a couple of more examples. And let me just change here. It is here. Okay. I have here a couple of more examples. Here I have the ones that you have mentioned, right? Tengo algunos de los que ustedes ya mencionaron. Por ejemplo, eh, doctor. Right, doctor, lawyer, lawyer. You have here pilot, right? Pilot, oh. police officer. The next one that you mentioned, nurse, right? Nurse. You can also have other professions, like for example, cashier, cook, or chef, flight attendant. Flight attendant is aeromosa, right? O, o asistente de vuelo. Judge. Wes. Musician. Músico. Receptionist. Receptionist. Like him, right? He's a receptionist. Salesperson. Salesperson. Encargado de ventas. Salesperson. Vendedor. Security guard. Security guard. Es un guardia de seguridad. Sí. Singer, singer, cantante, right? Waiter, mesero, waitress, mesera. Right, you have cashier, practice with me, cashier. Cashier. Cook. Cashier. Cook. Cook. Chef. 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 Doctor. Doctor. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Judge. 
judge, lawyer, lawyer, lawyer. musician, musician, nurse, nurse, pilot, pilot, police officer, police officer. Receptionist. 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 Salesperson. Salesperson. Security guard. Security guard. Singer. Singer. Waiter. Waiter. Waitress. Waitress. And I go with my question. What is your dream job? What is your dream job? What is your dream job? For example, my dream job is to be a veterinarian. That is my dream job. I would love to be a veterinarian. Yo, si no hubiera sido maestra, mi sueño era ser veterinaria. What is your dream job? What is that job that you say, I would love to be a dentist, a doctor, a psychologist, um, a mechanic, an architect. What is your dream job? And I will go one by one. Le voy a preguntar a cada uno. Así que piensen cuál es your dream job. Edwin? An artist. An artist. An artist. Really? What type of artist? A painter? A drawer? I don't know. What type of artist? A painter. A painter. Good. So, bueno para dibujar? Bastante. A ver, muestre. Ah, muestre un ejemplo. No, eso. Ok. Ah, mañana nos tiene que traer un ejemplo. Vamos a ver por qué. Solo en grande dibujaba. Oh, really? Sí. Wow. So, nunca es tarde, Edwin. Nunca es tarde. Nunca es tarde para hacer. Bueno, no, no voy a vender a la Barbie, pero nunca es tarde para hacer lo que querrá hacer. Definitely. Yeah, yo me hice Barbie teacher. Barbie veterinaria. No, no lo logré. Someday, someday I will become. Okay. An artist. Nice. What about the other ones? What is your dream job? Antonio, what is your dream job? Mr. Antonio Jose, what is your dream job? What is your dream job? Ya, por eso no me enamoro yo, mire, me distraigo. Singer. Singer, wow. Are you good at singing? So bueno cantando? Yeah, bye -bye. Oh, really? Oh, okay. In the shower, you say. Okay. Uh, In the shower. Ah, periodista. Journalist. Uh -huh. Journalist. Uh -huh. Wow. Hey, that's another one that I like. I like the journalist. Okay. I will write Teacher. it here. Yes? ¿Cómo se dice médico forense en inglés? A foreign doctor. Really? Hey, I always I always have one student in the class that they want to be a, a, a foreign doctor. He, he dado esta clase ya dos, tres veces y siempre hay alguien que quiere ser foreign. Yo también, teacher. Really? Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Pero, ¿qué tal con la sangre y la gente en pedazos? ¿Qué tal? ¿Todo bien? <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Because one thing is that I want to be and the other one is that I can be. Okay. <laughs> Because, for example, my mother is a nurse, and I am not good on that, okay? No, you know, estoy muy buena con la gente ahí. <laughs> y mi mamá así como, así, hija, mira, que no sé qué, que no sé cuánto, ahí, a, 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 juntando a la gente. So it's like, no. <laughs> and I am, and I love to take care of animals. So that's something curious, right? Yo ahí puedo estar curando al perro, al gato, lo que sea, donde hay medicina y de todo. Pero póngame un humano. A la par del caigo ya. No, so it's like, I, I don't know, I don't know. A foreign doctor, okay. A journalist, a journalist. Another one, it's a reporter. I would love to be a reporter. Yeah, yo creo que tengo, hablo tanto que fuera una muy buena reportera. 
a reporter. I love that. So any other dream job? A ver, Tatiana. Tú eres la foreign An girl, architect. No. An architect. Are you good at drawing? Uh -huh. buena dibujando? So buena dibujando? Sí, de pequeña me gustaba bastante. Oh, wow. So it's never late to do it, right? Nunca es tarde. Ahí está la nacional que solo es dan. Yeah, y gracias. Yeah, yeah. ¿Sí? Y gracias. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ahorita voy a ir a el no, todo, todo. ¿Qué, ¿Qué pasó, Chambre? José Reyes, what is your dream job? My dream job uh, is a police officer. A police officer. Good. Are you good at fighting? <laughs> so, bueno, poniendo quieto a los malhechores. Ah, José. Um, más o menos, más o menos. Hombre fuerte, era. That's good, that's good. Okay, Christian, what about you? Uh, my dream job uh, is a police officer. A police officer, good. Okay, pero no como el que anda en TikTok ahí, vea, que todas las pichas ahí andan buscando ahí. I okay. okay, good. Okay, that's good. That's good. Queriendo ser como el TikToker y termino siendo como Don Noel. That's... A police officer. That's nice. Police officer. Good. Christian será que es un hombre fuerte. O sea, que pone quieto a cualquiera. Joanna, foreign doctor. Uh, my train job to be a criminalist. A criminalist. Eh? You can work with Jose and Christian. Or a psychologist. A psychologist. <laughs> okay, good. Very good. That's so nice. Ahí va a trabajar en conjunto con Christian y Jose. A criminalist. That's so nice. Catherine Solorzano. My dream job is nurse and police officer. A nurse or a police officer. Wow. Okay. Todos dicen que las policías mujeres son bravas, dicen. Que te pare cualquier policía, menos una mujer. Dice. Good. Somos correctas. Eso es la ley. Good. Catherine, a nurse or a police officer. Leticia González. Um, my dream job. Um, Matt, uh, teacher. A math teacher. Wow, that's admirable. Admirable. Are you good with numbers? So, bueno con los números? Poquito, poquito. I am bad with the numbers. Oh, my God. Yeah. Se, se, se hacer cuenta. Con pista, sí. Pero con número? No. Okay, good. A math teacher. My respect. Ilse? My dream job, a uh, doctor pediatra. A pediatrician. Pediatrician. Ah, that's so nice. A pediatrician. What a beautiful job. Leti, Leticia Ortiz. My dream job, medico forense. Forense, forense For doctor. I thought it. Forense, forense doctor. Forense doctor. Forense doctor. Forens doctor. Okay. Good. My respect. Te veo, te admiro, te respeto. <laughs> Forest doctor. <laughs> Alma Dalila. <laughs> foreign doctor. Another foreign doctor. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Aquí a Pucha Ven. Van a trabajar con, con Joana y con José y con Cristian. Yeah. <laughs> The foreign doctors. Okay, good. Luz, what is your dream job? My dream job is. Uh... Singer. <laughs> a singer. Wow. That's another one of my, my dream jobs. A singer. Are you good at singing? So buena cantando. Pues, ay, me pongo a karaokear a veces. That's all good. Okay. Very nice. Janet, what is your dream job? Madrid is teacher in math. A math teacher, wow, exactly as Leticia. Wow, another math teacher. So, bueno con los números, Janet? 
a math Un poco. teacher. Wow, my God, you are really admirable people. Really admirable students. Another math teacher. Is anybody missing? Me falta alguien que le pregunte? No? Yes? Hable ahora. Okay, my dream job. You know, I have I have one of one of my, my dreams is to be the lady of the airport. ¿Han escuchado a la, de lo, a la, a la que habla en el aeropuerto? This is the passengers of the flight 19, ta -da -da -da, with the destiny of Washington, please go. Da -da -da -da. That's my dream. I want to work there. One day in my life, I am going to go and work. Yeah. Todos esos que salen en TikTok, ¿verdad? que se practica conmigo. I, I do them and I dream about being there, right? So that's another of my dreams, to be the lady of the airport, talking and announcing the flights. So those are different professions and occupations, right? And here we have the different pictures for them. Thank you very much for sharing your dreams. In this picture, the first picture that we have here, what professions do we have in this picture? Yeah. What professions do we have in this picture? We have the receptionist, right? It's the men right here. We have the receptionist. What about this one? Doctor. The doctor and the nurse. And the nurse. The doctor and the nurse. What about in the next picture? What professions and occupations do we have here? Uh, a pilot. A pilot and, and, flight flight attendant. Attendant. and the flight attendant, right? The pilot and the flight attendant. What about this one? Musician. The musician and Singer. Yeah. The singer, right? Aquí está Lux cantando en el público. Singer. <laughs> what about this one? Judge. A judge, right? The judge. judge. Here we have your partners, the police, police. Officer. officer. And this one is the? The lawyer. The lawyer, right? The lawyer. The lawyer. The lawyer. Yeah. What about this one? The chef. Chef. chef, waiter. The waiter oh, is the man, right? The waiter is the man, oh, and the lady, waitress. Waitress, the waitress. Oh. What about this one? El vendedor. Do you remember oh. this one? Uh huh. Wait, 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 wait. I me fui para atrás. Sorry. It's here. Say, uh, okay. Sales person, no. Aquí el, el único salado es el que le va mal. Sales person, no, right? Sales person, right? Sales person. Sales person. El majahua le dice porque está bien salado. Sales person, right? Sales person. Is this one, right? What about the lady right here? It's the cashier. The cashier is la cajera. Cashier. The cashier. And this one that is here on the door? What is her name? I will go here. Security agent. Security guard, right? She is the security. Security guard, right? La vigilante. Y la cajera, cashier, right? Cashier. Cashier and security guard. So there you have the different professions and occupations, right? So tell me, from all these people, from all these people, give me professions that work in an office. Profesiones que trabajen en la oficina. In the office. Secretary. The secretary, secretary, right? The secretary. What else? People who work in an office. The receptionist, good. The receptionist. Engineer. An engineer? Does he work in an office? El siempre es en oficina? All right, he's checking around, right? El anda en la obra, en el campo, no sé dónde. 
teacher, huh? how do you say um, digitador? Digitador. <clears throat> okay, this is a data analyst. A data analyst. A data analyst and right, you can you can have three of an office. People who work in a store. Quien trabaja en una tienda, in a store. Gente que trabaja en una tienda. The security guard. The security guard. What else? Cashier. The cashier. And salesperson. The salesperson, right? The cashier and the salesperson. Who works in a hotel? Chef. The chef. Very good. Who else works in a hotel? The chef? Receptionist. The receptionist? The waiter? Okay, the waiter and? Cashier, right. The cashier, right? The cashier, because someone has to charge, right? Alguien tiene que cobrar. And the valet parking. The valet parking es el que anda parqueando los carritos y lleva a la gente, bienvenido, blah, blah, blah. That's the valet parking, right? And the cashier is the one that charges the money. Excellent job. So, give me the name of the profession who wears a uniform. Profesión que usa uniforme. Where's a uniform? A profession. The doctor. Okay, the doctor. Another one who wears a uniform? No. Nurse. A nurse. A police officer. Very good. A waiter. A secretary. Good. Okay, so those are the ones that wear a uniform. Give me a profession that stands all day. Que se está parado todo el día. Stands all day. Security guard. The security guard. The secretary sometimes. Stands all day. Que está parado todo el día. The cashier. The chef. Good. And give me one profession. That sits all day. Una profesión que se sienta todo el día. Secretary. Secretary. The secretary. The receptionist. Cashier. The, the cashier. Okay, the cashier. The call center agent, right? Los agentes de call center. They are sitting all day answering phone calls. Give me a profession that handles money. Handle is maneja. Handles money. The cashier. The cashier, right? The cashier. Give me a profession that talks to people. Salesperson. The salesperson, good. A profession that talks to people. The teacher. <laughs> Me. A profession that works at night. The teacher. 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 The The dancers. <laughs> People who work at night, right? The call center agents, right? The police officers. The doctors. The nurse. The teachers, security the security guards, they work at night. Good, very good. And a profession, a profession that works hard. Una profesión que trabaja un montón y trabaja duro. Mechanic. The, the mechanic. mechanic, okay, the mechanic. Engineer. The engineer. Well, your work, ustedes. Mi Dios, si trabajan tan duro. You work hard. <laughs> okay, the, the, all the factory workers, I do admire you. Wow. Yeah. 
yo trabajé 10 años en, en, en una fábrica, bueno, el lugar estaba en una fábrica, y my God, es como súper gran trabajo. A profession that writes tickets. A, prof a profession that writes tickets. A police officer. Yes, they do, right? Les encanta. A profession that writes tickets, right? Mm, su carro no es el azul que dice aquí, mire, aquí dice azul sirena y el suyo es azul bandera. Mm, ticket. <laughs> ticket, right? A person who writes tickets. Also the cashiers, right? The cashiers write a lot of tickets. What is the difference that you can see in these verbs? ¿Qué le ven de diferente a estos verbos? Es el mismo verbo que estamos ocupando, pero tienen algo distinto. What is it? Here you have wears uniform, stands all day, sits all day, handles money, talks to people, works at night, works hard, writes tickets. What is the difference? ¿Qué le ven de diferente? The letter S. The letter S, right? The letter S at the end. And it is because they are referring to a third person singular, okay? Aquí entra la tercera persona singular y la ocupamos con los verbos, okay? We need to be very careful not to confuse them. These are with the verbs. Lo vamos a usar con los verbos. So, in this case, let me give you a little bit more details here. Here we have, a, well, the pronunciation. No, but this is not what I wanted to share. Let me go here. Permítame, le voy a compartir. Sorry. Le puse donde no era. My bad. Let's continue. So let me share my screen again. Déjenme les comparto la pantalla de nuevo. Okay, okay, okay. With the third person singular. Yes, it's right here. Okay, lo voy a silenciar porque escucho un ventilador por ahí. There you go. Okay. So the third person singular, let me share it with you. I am going to share my screen with you. How do you make these changes? For example, for most of the verbs, as I was telling you before, for most of the verbs, you add the S at the, at the end of the verb, right? For most of the verbs, you only add the S, right? Work works, right? For he, she, and it in affirmative, okay? Esto afecta nada más para he, she, and it in affirmative, right? It's for he or she, and for it, in affirmative forms, okay? He, she, and it. And it's going to be only in the affirmative. For the ones that finish on CH, S, S, H, X, or Z, right? Si el verbo termina en cualquiera de estas letras que les muestro aquí, si termina en CH, en S, SH, X, o Z, se les agrega ES al verbo, right? Si el verbo termina en Y con consonante antes, solo agregamos S. Si el verbo termina en Y con, eh, perdón, con consonante antes, cambiamos la Y por IES. ¿Okay? Si el verbo termina en Y con vocal anterior, solo le ponemos S. Tenemos formas irregulares. ¿Cuáles son las formas irregulares? Las formas irregulares son... <coughs> Do, go, be, and have. ¿Por qué? Porque tienen su forma específica. Do, para la tercera persona, es does. Go, para la tercera persona, es goes. Be, tiene is y are. Y have, para la tercera persona, es has. ¿Ok? So you can say, I have a house, she has a house. Right? I go to work, he goes to work. I do my homework, he does his homework, okay? They have the specific form of the verb. 
In these ones, you say, I play, she plays. I study, he studies. I watch TV, she watches TV. I relax, he relaxes, right? I rush to work, rush es apurarte, right? I rush to work, he rushes to work. Okay, this is only for he, for she, and for it, okay? In affirmative form. So let's go back, let's go back to the board. Regresemos a nuestra pizarra. And let's remember the activities. Ustedes tienen sus actividades en su cuaderno. And tenemos, por ejemplo, la primera, what was the first verb? Wake up. What was the second verb? ¿Cuál era el segundo verbo? De los que hicimos al principio. Wake up. What go, was the next go, one? Go, go, go. go to work. Go. What is the next one? Uh, arrive to work. Arrive to work. What is the next one? Finish work. Finish work. Cook dinner. Cook dinner. Finish class. And finish class. Finish class. Okay. Imagine that you are not talking about you. Imagínense que ya no están hablando de ustedes. Y están hablando de su mamá. So you don't say, I wake up. So you say, she wakes up at eight. Okay. Aquí ya no hablamos de yo. Ahora hablamos de ella. She wakes up at eight. Your father, he, ¿cuál era la, la forma irregular de go? Goes. He Go. goes. He goes to work at six. Okay, he goes to work at six. What will be the change for arrive? He arrives. Es un verbo normal, entonces solo le ponemos la S. He arrives to work at seven. Okay, he arrives to work at seven. I am just giving examples. Finish. Terminen ese H. ¿Qué cambio le hacemos? A-S, right? He finishes, he finishes work at 4.33. Okay, he finishes work at 4.33. Cook dinner. Cook es un verbo normal. Le ponemos solo ese. He cooks dinner at 6 p.m. Right? He cooks dinner at 6 p.m. And finish is the same as we did before. So you say she finishes class at 9. Okay, so this only affects the affirmative forms. Okay, this is only going to affect the affirmative sentences with he or she, with he or she, with it. For example, imagínense que están hablando de su gato, yeah. And it says, it wakes up at 2 p.m. ¿A qué hora se levanta el gato de la siesta? At 2 p.m., right? It wakes up at 2 p.m. Y se duerme a las 3, porque está cansada. It wakes up at 2 p.m., right? There you go. So that is the difference when you use the third person. So, are we getting the idea? ¿Les va quedando más clara la idea de cómo es la tercera persona singular? Entonces, volvamos a la presentación. Okay. Let's go back to the presentation. Let's continue here. And here we go. So let's go back to the presentation. So here I have some other examples, right? With I, you, we, and they, we use the normal verbs. With he, she, and it, we change the verb, okay? I eat every day. I use the cell phone every day. He 
uses the cell phone. He eats every day, okay? So here we have other examples. The first one says, I walk to school. ¿Cómo diríamos este para she? ¿Cómo usaríamos el primero para she? She walks to school. She walks to school, right? You ride your bike to school, right? Es montar, right? You ride your bike to school. No le pongamos you, pongámosle he. Si termina en e, solo le agregamos la s. He, he rides. He rides. Y aquí no, si aquí decimos he, aquí no decimos your. Porque si no, la que se lleva es, la, es tu bicicleta. Entonces, he rides his bike. He rides his bike to work. His bikes. He rides his bike to work. Okay? He rides his bike to work. So that's the difference, right? He rides his bike to work. He works near here. He works near here. This is third person already, right? She takes the bus to work. That's already third person. We live with our parents. We live with our parents. With he? He lives with his parents. Si cambiamos el sujeto, también el posesivo cambia. He lives with his parents. They use public transportation. She uses. She uses public transportation. Acuérdense, si termina en E, solo le agregamos S. He uses public transportation. So there you have a couple of more examples. What is the problem on the sentence? Can you identify the problem in the sentence? Okay. Se lo voy a enviar. Y lo vamos a trabajar en parejas. La van a analizar en grupitos. Fíjense, véanlas, analícenlas. Y ahorita lo voy a enviar a trabajar con ellas. Analyze the sentences. What is the problem with the sentences? Don't tell me. And here. Here we go. Find the mistake. That's what you are going to do. You are going to find the mistake. I send it on the chat. Okay, ya se los envié al chat. Vamos a ocupar cinco minutitos. Cinco nada más. Para trabajar en esto. Find the mistake on the sentence. Vamos a repito de tres. Go ahead. Accept my invitation. Excellent. So students are going to analyze the sentences a little bit to find the mistake on each of them. I am going to give them a couple of seconds to set up and we're going to see how they are doing. ¿Qué piensan ustedes? Eh, Entre justo en el momento de no sé qué piensan ustedes. Tenía problemas para entrar a WhatsApp. Okay. So analyze the picture. 
analyze the sentences. What is the problem with the sentence? Teacher, uh -huh. eh, la primera sería, do you, no. eh, do you like? Do you, do you like? Sería verdad. No. ¿Cuál, es, ¿Cuál es el auxiliar o cuál es la forma que usaríamos para he? Usaríamos do. Like. Do. Das. Das. Tin, tin, das. Tin. Das, das. Does he like das. basketball? Das. El segundo dice, I likes eating pizza. ¿En qué forma cambiamos el verbo? Para el sujeto, he... She sí. and it. ¿Qué sujeto tenemos? Ah, it. I. Tenemos I. Okay. Yeah. Entonces tendríamos I que poner it. I like. I like. I do. Ahí váyanse. Ahí váyanse. Very good. Very good. You, you have the idea. No? Ya les dejo la idea en camino. Go ahead. I will go with the next one. Hey, little sister. Uh -huh. A ver. What is number one? What is the problem with number one? He. He. Okay. I just explained. What is the auxiliary for he? ¿Cuál sería el auxiliar para he? Sería do? You. ¿Cuál es la forma del verbo para he? he. Déjenme refrescarles la memoria. Ok. We are right here, right? Ok. Les acabo de enseñar las formas de los verbos. What is the form? What is the form for he with do? ¿Cuál sería la forma de do para he? Uh, star. Do it. Does. 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 Right, does. does. So let's go back here. Ah. <laughs> let's go back here. So you say, does, does he like sí. basketball? Entonces, does. Aquí. aquí tiene I likes eating pizza. Si yo les dije que el verbo se cambia para he, she, and it, y el sujeto que tenemos es I, sería I, puedo decir I likes. Yes. Yes. Si el verbo cambia para he, she, and it y tengo I. El cambio en el verbo con la letra S afecta solo a he, she, and it. Y aquí el sujeto es I like. I like eating pizza. En este caso no tendría que llevar S. I like eating pizza. So, in this case, it should be like this. I like eating pizza. Okay. She, aquí tenemos el mismo caso. She does. She does. Okay, no podemos decir she do, porque ya tenemos el cambio del verbo que se pone para tercera persona. Does. Okay, so you say she does her homework. The film, aquí estamos hablando de the film, es la película. ¿Qué sería la película? ¿Qué sujeto sería? He, she, we, it, they. La película es un objeto. ¿Sería? Is. It. It, right? It. Entonces, si para he, she, and it, el verbo cambia, you have... Sería... Ajá. ¿Está correcto eso? ¿Qué pasa cuando el verbo termina en SH? Eh, 
este H se le agrega el S. ES, right? Se le agrega ES. Entonces, ¿está correcta esta? No. Ajá, so you say the film finishes at 8. Síganle ahí. Ya los encaminé yo. Ya, ya lo entendí. <laughs> continue, continue. 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 Hello. 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 ¿Quién nos está interrumpiendo, Janet? Ajá. So tell me about your examples. Tell me about your examples. ¿Cómo van con las oraciones? ¿Qué cambio le hicieron a la primera? A ver, cuente. Ajá. ¿O no la cambiaron? Sí, no lleva el filtro. Ah. Pero aquí he es el sujeto de la oración. He. ¿Qué forma auxiliar ocupamos con he? ¿Ocupamos do? No. ¿Qué ocupamos? He is. Uh, we use. He is. Ok. El das. Das, right? We use das para tercera persona. He, she, and it. Ocupamos das. Entonces, mm -hmm. aquí tendría que ser. Das. He no, he. does he, porque es pregunta. Does he uh -huh. like basketball? Does he like basketball. Very good. ¿Para qué sujetos les dije que se cambiaban los verbos? Para he, she, and it. ¿Qué sujeto es este? It's I. It's I. Ajá, entonces, a este, ¿le tenemos que cambiar el verbo? No. Oh, right. So you say, I. I like. I like. Very good, right? I like eating pizza. I like eating pizza. She. ¿Cuál sería el cambio aquí? Does. She does, right? She does her homework. The film, the film, en este caso sería it. Okay? It. Does. Eso no lleva. O sea, está malo, le falta la. ¿Qué le falta? La E. Exacto, right? He. Si termina en SH es finishes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Es, right? It has ES. Okay. It has ES. That's the form. Okay. So, continue with the next one. What about this one? So, you say, my friends, si es plural, my friends, ¿Tenemos que cambiar el verbo para los plurales? No. Ok. Go. So you say, my friend, go. go. Ahí se queda. Ya ahí van encaminados. Ahí van encaminados. So, holiday makes work. Continue. Ahí la tienen en su WhatsApp. Síganle. I will go with the next one. <laughs> Ajá. Terminamos. Did you finish? Hello, chicas. Ya terminamos. No, yo no, no porque la demanda. Leticia, Catherine, ¿qué pasó? 
Yo ya los corregí, pero no sé si. ¿Y por qué no trabajaron juntas? ¿Qué pasó aquí? <risa> A ver, ¿cómo corrigieron la primera? Vamos a ver. Ajá. Do you have it? ¿Tienen la primera? ¿Cómo corrigieron la primera? Ahí las tienen. Ya las, se las estoy compartiendo. Eh, bueno, yo le, la, la puse así, pero no sé si. A ver. Does he like basketball? Does he like basketball? That's perfect, right? Does he like basketball? Very good job. Does he like basketball? I can. What about the next one? I? I like eight. I like I like eating pizza, right? I like eating pizza. Very good. So you have the idea. Very good. Let's go back. Let's go back to the main room. So, tienen la idea. Vamos a terreno. Let's go back to the main room. Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Bienvenidos. Terminamos las oraciones y nos vamos. Okay, good. Welcome back. We are about to finish, okay? Give me the sentence number one, corrected. Deme la primera, corregida. Does he like basketball? Does he like basketball? Number two. I like eating pizza. I like eating pizza. Number three. Cheat. She does her homework on the service bus. Very good. Number four. The film finish film at finishes. Finishes, right? Finishes at eight. At eight. Number five. My friend go yes. holiday next week. Very good. My friends go. My friends go on holiday. Number six. She carries. she carries, right? Carries. Se cambia la griega por yes. She carries her little sister to her car. Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman. Axe. 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 Very good. Axe. Con ese. Axe. Axe in a lot of films. We plays. We play. We play. 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 Right? Sin ese. Play. Porque we no se cambia. We play in the garden at break. And the last one? Our teacher. So, talks. So, talks. Our teacher talks very clearly. So there you have the sentences. There you have the corrections of them. Well, my dear students, ah, it was a huge challenge, right? Fue un ejercicio difícil, pero no imposible. I am going to continue with this tomorrow. Mañana seguimos con la tercera persona. So, practice, have a good night, and I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next class. Bye-bye. Have see a good you night. Tomorrow, see you. Good night.